Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul with this week's Anomaly Mission. Now, I uh, want to apologize to everybody in, in advance. You're probably listening to this and going, Whoa, what's going on with the audio? I have a brand new microphone I'm using today, and I've done some incredible adjustments in OBS to try to apply some noise filters, and gain controls, and things like that. A lot of work. A lot of work. You're going to hear a lot of stuff, uh, unfortunately. I'm working on getting an actual uh, boom mic as well as um, a shock mount to go with it. So you're probably going to hear keyboard presses. You're probably going to hear all kinds of other things. You may hear noises in the background that I've tried to eliminate. There's a lot of things you're going to be hearing. So we're starting out today in our wonderful demented sky base that just will not work anymore. Um, for future reference, I am most likely going to be creating a brand new sky base. Um, we'll probably have to delete all of this and get rid of it somehow. So, yeah, that's going to be a fun day. Moving day, I'll call that. So we're going to go ahead and take our new Utopia speeder up to the anomaly and uh, let's, uh, let's get going on this new mission. So again, hopefully the audio comes out okay. You're going to hear the click-clack of the uh, keyboard on occasion and things like that. I have things adjusted really severely, but um, the lack of a shock mount is going to make the difference. I mean, even the taps on the table. You can hear that. See? So I have this thing even sitting on something in order to try to absorb some of the sounds, and it's just it's not going to cut it. So it's on order, waiting for it to come in. This is a Friday night for this anomaly, and uh, my boom mic and shock absorber are going to be arriving sometime on Sunday. Now I am doing some recordings on Monday. I'll be coming up with a whole series of them uh, for your enjoyment, and I look forward to doing that as well. So hopefully my voice is coming through okay. This is probably more of my natural voice. I've done very little adjustments to the uh, three-band equalizer that's present, so we'll see how things go. So what do we got in the Nexus today? Niche in the stars. Construct an outpost. Wow. Okay, yeah, I remember. This is quite the thing that goes on here. So we're going to enjoy this one. This one's going to be a little bit of a longer one then. So let's go ahead and initialize and start the mission. Very rare occasions, it does happen, where the mission changes. So, let me see what happens here. There we go. Let's see what system we end up in next. So it's a really neat mic that I'm using here. Um, it is a HyperX Solocast. I wanted to go with a quadcast or something along those lines, but uh, yeah, just not in the budget right now. So we're going to see how this goes. I think this microphone can pretty much pick up a moth farting in the back room at this point, so hopefully I have everything adjusted properly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Habitable planet located. Really? Where's that? Right in front of your nose. Now, I don't think we have to do anything once we reach the planet. I don't think we have to look for anything. You just gotta land and start building. So I see that there's a small... Oh, what do you know? That is... You can't be serious. A minor settlement. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Free landing. It's a free parking space, basically. That's awesome. All right, let's take a look. Because you know I gotta check. What do we got in the back corner over here? Oh, eh, end of the night, huh? B class, nothing special. Interesting though. It's got its two. I may take a look at this later and see what happens when we upgrade it. As you can see, I've gone on some nanite runs to get some stuff, so I gotta see what we can do with that later. Okay, back to the beginning. Back to the beginning, Vizzini. All right. What do we got? I think I quoted that wrong. So it doesn't look like this. Establish a construction site. One explorer. Deploy. 
a base computer access to build menu. Okay, nothing special then. Guess we can do it right here. And I always like to build, especially like when I'm starting a brand new save, brand new regular run through, I usually love to build a base right next to a minor settlement because it has so many different um, things you can do with the minor settlement itself. So many items you can get from these buildings in the trade outpost and with the people that are inside. So, all right, let's uh, let's build it out just a little bit here. Nope. There we go. Base computer. One of one. HUD core outpost. Let's see. No prior claims. Let's go ahead and claim the base. Again, position not saved. It's always going to tell me that. Alright. Hmm. You know what? While I'm here, I just want to make sure we're not going to get attacked by anything. Oh yeah, Apex Predator. Just in case. And I don't think... Let me just check my multi-tool real quick. And we got the bolt caster as our primary, so let's, uh... There we go. Let me just make sure he doesn't attack when he gets close. Oh, yes he does. Well, now you know, folks, so watch out for this moth-faced guy. And be careful when you're on this planet. Now you know you will get attacked. Alright, good to know. All right, what's next? Uh, cylindrical room. Okay, so we should have pure ferrite for that. Uh, 250. We'll build it right about here. I'm not worried about the storm. All right. Hello, door. Hello, door. Let's build it on this side. Uh, we need gold. How do I not have gold? Can I call in my freighter? There you go. Come on in, baby. There we go. Now I should have gold. I usually keep it on the freighter. See? I have gold now. And you know what? While we're here... Let's just stick you inside here. Okay. We need curved corridor. Back to here. We'll need pure ferrite for that. And we need two of them, right? What do you think? Maybe the other way? Let's go the other way, just for the heck of it. Advanced gas processing. Really? I needed to know that. Alright, building a glass cuboid room of four, glass, and a cuboid room of six. Alright. Let's see. That's gonna be. There they are. The glass cuboid room. We need some glass. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, back to the exosuit. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Where is my. There it is. What do you know? I happen to have glass sitting there. I have no idea. I don't even remember doing that. That is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Alright, glass cuboid room. Let's put it right over there at the end of this boy. One, two, uh, three, four. We can't get in. Five and six. All right. Well, we only needed four. Go figure. And we need two more. Uh, four more. Pardon me. Six more? We need six more. That's okay. I can count. One. Two. Go on top of this. Now, we could do this just from a different type of menu, but eh, this will work. Three. That's four. Four. See, I told you I can't count today. It's been a long day, guys. And six. Okay. Now we have to decorate the base. Alright, let's head inside. 
Let's do the decorating in the cuboid rooms, shall we? Well, isn't that interesting? Huh. Never really used the cuboid rooms before, so that's kind of neat. So I need a bed. Dee -dee 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 -dee. The bed. Uh, we're going to spin that around. I don't like how small it is. So you notice at the top you can change the scale. We can make it really big. Or just a little smaller. Uh, I'm actually going to do the B here, so I'm going to actually do a little quick uh, placement so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, you know, we don't want to put it through the wall. Looks like we're not quite straight, and that's going to drive me nuts if I don't straighten it out a little bit. That'll work. We can change the color, too, but we didn't do that. Uh, what do we need? We need some blue lights, apparently. How many do we need of those? Four of them. Let's put one right there. Another one right over here. Two. Uh, very odd. Three. And we'll put another one right here. Four. What else do we need? Pardon me. I need two mini weathered hangings. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Wrong way. Okay, oh, a little bit. There we go. We're going to put them on the windows. And put this one over here. So we got two of those. What's next? Upload the base report for the Space Anomalies archives. Interesting. So this is it. That's all we had to do. Okay, so that looks like this was a little bit less time than I expected. Upload the base. And I believe we have completed our... Yep, there it is. Completed the mission. Fantastic. Okay. So that was it. Didn't have to apply power to the base, which you can do if you wish. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just give that a shot. Um, and the thing about these cuboid ones is that when you put power to them, you don't have to do a whole heck of a lot. So we're just going to stick a biofuel reactor in here real quick. And you don't have to use any wires. That's the great part about this. So you just put some uh, fuel in it. I'll stick... Uh, I have so much of this. We just drop it in there. And you'll see we have light suddenly. Let's see what everything looks like, just out of curiosity. Look at that. Look at that. Much prettier. like the white better. Yeah. So anyway, that should do it for the mission. But what else were we going to do? Let's check out that... Uh, multi-tool real quick. So we got a B-class multi-tool here. Let me just go through my multi-tool list real fast because I know I got one I can get rid of. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. I'm not sure. The needler, the, that, that light tuner, the royal one, is actually not a bad multi-tool. Um, it has the supercharged slots right here. All four of them. See? So, it's actually doing pretty good damage on this one. So, I am going to hang on to that one. Um, the others... That's the wrong button. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Like, the loop to the stars uh, doesn't really have much going for it. Uh, so, I'm, I am going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I don't need the optical grill, you know. So, it had two right next to it, and it has one over here, and I think if I continue on, I might get one, uh, one over here or one over here. It, they're just too far apart from each other to really make any difference to me. So, I'm not going to be keeping this weapon. So, we're going to use this as a trade-in at this point. We'll get this B-Class one, and we'll update it. So, we're going to compare them. Okay, so yes, it's a B-Class. It's not a big deal. All right, so I have this weapon on me. So, we're going to take it up to the space station and see what we can do. Eh, grab some nanites while I'm here. My freighter's in the system, so that's a good thing. And, you know, nothing's saving, because I haven't completed the mission per se. 
Uh, where is the old space station? There it is. Right there. Come on, baby. Yeah, large sip yeah, yeah, sorry. You notice I changed my tail fin my tail blasters to uh from the wavering distortion to these I thought it looked more fitting to have uh you know sputtering fire coming out of the back of this thing. It just seemed more appropriate. At least in my own eyes. So we're kind of going for a twofer on this mission here. So we're doing this the, the space anomaly mission, but we're going to check out a multi-tool while we're here at this base. And if it turns out to be good, I'm going to go back to the base that I have not deleted, and we will put a marker down for anybody to find it. While we're here, we'll check it out up here, too, because it should be the same weapon. Yes, it is. And it's a C-class one, so, you know, I didn't lose anything by doing what I did. So let's go ahead and... We should have slots available on my ship. So let's start over here. Okay, we didn't get anything. That's okay. So now we're going to upgrade the class. We got plenty of nanites. Uh, that's three. Okay, and we're going to do it one more time. I am going to waste the extra 50,000, so sue me to me. There we go. So now we're going to add the slots back in. And for some reason, it's telling me I don't have any, so hang on a second here. Let's go to the freighter. Uh, where did I put those? There we go. And I got 34 of them left, so I'm going to have to do a little shopping. Hint, hint. There we go. Wink, wink. Oh, look at that. It put that one over there. Okay, so that kind of ruins it for me automatically. And it doesn't look like any of these are it. Now, if it puts one, like, over here, that could work, but let's find out. Ah, it put it down there. Interesting. I'm not sure how good that makes it. I'm not sure how good that makes it. Let's just take a peek at this. So, first of all, Scatter Blaster is your most powerful weapon. As far as what damage potential, you have to be close. It's a slow loader. I have a favorite weapon. I, I prefer the Pulse Spitter and the Volt Caster much more over that. Neutron Cannon, when I just want to wipe people out, that's much easier to do. Okay. And I don't know if I have any upgrades on me. I do not. Back to the freighter, which has my... Whoop, back there. Uh, infra knife. Infra knife, infra knife. Similar to that, but it's for the other weapon. And those are for the bolt caster. Okay. Scatter blasters. Yeah, let's not do that just yet. Um, okay. Hang on a second here, folks. Pulse spitter. Interesting. Scatter Blaster looked a little different, didn't it? Pulse Spitter. How many Pulse Spitter stings do I have? Rapid Fire. Pulse Spitter, I'm sorry. I'm looking right at it, and for some reason my brain is not comprehending what I'm looking at. That's not what I wanted. to Cut that out. Why did you do that? Hmm. Yeah, we don't know. Well, I have a lot of upgrades in here. Don't tell anybody, okay? Yeah, you're seeing this video later. You're not going to tell anybody. Okay. So I don't have them present here, so let's do something a little different here. Let's go to... Uh, Oxide Needler. Let's just check it out. Alright, see, they were lined up all top of each other. And that was actually a pretty decent weapon. But it just doesn't quite float its boat with me. It's a cool looking weapon, I mean, granted. And it was already S class, but, you know, or I think it was A class if I remember correctly, and I had to upgrade it. So we'll be using that later. Um, let's see. Crestwood. 
light tuner. Let's pull it from here. So we are going to take these, and these are some of the better upgrades here. So we're going to pull that out. Uh, that's the scatter blaster itself. So there's a shell greaser we want to get, of course. I could have just built that, but no big deal. This upgrade and this upgrade. So what we're looking for is we're looking for damage exceeding, say, 35,000. I need to get away from that. That's annoying. There we go. Okay. And shell greaser first. So trying to figure out what would be the best arrangement for this. That's in a, in a, in a nice spot right there. Okay, let's just put them in. Let's just see what kind of arrangement we get. We'll put these into the built-in spots real fast to, and just see if it makes any difference whatsoever. Great. So we're getting 25,000 damage here. 26. That doesn't change any no matter where I put it. Okay. So that's really not helping us any. 23. 23, 5, 21. What if we put this over here? Does that make any difference? No, it does not. Okay. So even though these are two supercharged slots, that one's not in a supercharged slot. Didn't make any difference. 24. And the closer I put it, the better. 26. So... Yeah, I'd say it was kind of a waste. Don't about you guys, but let's go ahead and take this out. We're going to put it back in my inventory, and I think we're going to call that one a bust. Kind of a waste of money on that. And nanites, for that matter. All right. But while we're here, let's pull it out. That way, the next weapon we get, we've got the accoutrements to take care of it. So, and I will use this one to get rid of. Blah. That's what we'll call it. Okay. So that should do it here. Let's go ahead and get back to the anomaly and close out our mission, shall we? Now, it doesn't mean that there's not an S-class uh, weapon in the system that might be worth our while, but for the time being, this is what we have. Off to the anomaly. You know what we need? You're probably wondering to yourself, what is he up to? We need ourselves a new picture, shall we? So you're wondering, you probably looked at my Here, let's do this. We're going to do there we go that's what we want maybe a little bit of a side shot this is going to be our new update for the anomaly our new picture a little screenshot here and we're going to be using that as our newest Weekend Anomaly Mission Updates. Let's head in, folks. Alright, we've returned. We're going to check out the um, Quicksilver vendor real quick, too, after we're done, just to see what's available. What our latest and greatest stuff is. And we'll go from there. So not a bad little video. Sorry it went a little bit over, but really wanted to check out the multi-tool. Been on a mission to find the next great thing. Complete the mission. We get our 1800. Extra Quicksilver, and we're all done. So let's head on over here, take a quick peek, and see what we got. Create exotic items. So it looks like we have the Atlas Seed poster that's available now. I'm going to go ahead and grab it while I'm here. 
Uh, we got the Voyage poster, and the Utopia poster is up and coming at Tier 3. You can see we've made some progress. We're about 16% in. We should finish it here in the next couple weeks. Got plenty of flowers. I did get the... Uh, this is the cape I'm sporting now, the Cosmic Megafauna cape. I really like it a lot. I like it better than the tentacled one, to be honest with you. That's why I sport it now. Though the Titan Worm one does look pretty cool, I have to admit. But... Hopefully you guys can come in here with plenty of different other options and posters and items and starship trails and everything else that you can get in here. Wonderful things. And if you're all are wondering, of course, obviously when you do Twitch drops, that's where you get your Twitch rewards, you get your expedition rewards, and where you can, it gives you some pointers on where to earn more. So this is what you can find over here at our wonderful Quicksilver vendor. Well, that should do it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope the audio is coming through perfectly fine. I hope it doesn't sound like too much uh, uh, baloney. I did about 20, 30, 40 recordings you know, of about 30 seconds each uh, over and over and over again trying to knock out the audio on this. So hopefully I'm not coming through like I'm blasting your speakers or your headphones right off your head. Um, but hopefully it came through okay. Uh, look forward to you folks in the next videos. I'm going to be doing a speed run after I uploaded this. So I will be doing a speedrun video on the expedition. Um, Jason's record right now, Jason Plays has it at 56 minutes. I, my best time right now is an hour and 35. That's the best I can get it down to so far. So I'm at least going to attempt to break my own record. We'll see how we do. And maybe, I don't know, I might do it back to back. I don't know yet. It's uh, early right now, so it's, I'm looking forward to doing that. And uh, we're gonna probably do I'm thinking sometime either in the morning tomorrow I will do a permadeath no HUD challenge or I might do it in the late afternoon. But I have a micro Minecraft family thing to do uh, in the evening that I'm going to record as well. But it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoy the video. I'm somewhat getting back to a uh, semblance of normalty now and hopefully we'll be able to put out some more videos. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button too. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.